Welcome to lecture 14 of electronic devices and circuits. We are studying NC analysis for a fixed spiced PJT amplifier. This is the circuit. We have up till now we have studied, analyzed it, and we have computed input and output impedance in the last lecture. Today we will find out the voltage gain of this amplifier. The state voltage gain is the voltage gain at the output across the load resistor divided by the voltage of the supplied input voltage. The ratio of the two is the voltage gain of this stage. In our earlier lectures, we have learned how to derive this linear circuit model from this given amplifier. To find voltage gain, we first have to compute VL and then we have to divide it by Vs to find out the, its exact value. We know that the current flowing through the base terminal IP is since RB and beta RE are in parallel with each other, so the same voltage Vs appears here and here. So even here we have the same voltage Vs. So IB according to Ohm's law is Vs over beta RT. Here we have neglected R0 resistance because it is very large compared to the parallel combination of RC and RL. Just this current enters from emitter and goes towards collector through this parallel combination V of VL. The voltage drop across RL would be the same as the voltage drop across RC. So that would be a negative sign because the direction of current, actual direction of current produces a polarity opposite to this desired polarity. Therefore, I put a minus here. RC in parallel with RL times the current beta IP. If you put the value of IB here, VL, the expression for VL becomes minus RC in parallel with RL times beta times IB which is Vs over beta RD. This beta cancels with this beta and VL, if you divide Vs here, the ratio becomes minus RC in parallel with RL over RD small r in the junction resistor. This value is very small compared to this parallel combination therefore it produces a higher value. This means the state voltage gain is more than 1. It's a voltage amplifier. So common emitter, con common, all common emitter configurations produce a voltage amplifier. Let's see what is the current gain of this stage. Current gain Of the stage would be IL the current flowing through load resistor divided by the current flowing through the source IS. So the ratio IL over IS should give us the current gain. Since this IB is the current that flows through this beta RE. IS is the current that divides at this point, becomes part of it flows through RP, part of it is IP. So according to current divided rule, IP is the other resistance in numerator divided by the sum of the two resistors in denominator times energy current IS. IS is the current that flows through RL. So this beta IB current at this point divides into parts. Part of it flows through RC, part of it through RL. So what should be the current that flows through the load resistor IL? According to current divider rule once again, RC over RC plus RL times the ending current, total current beta IB. So now we can put the value of IB 
from this equation into k. So I L becomes R C over R C plus R L times beta times I P. That will bring it from here. R P over R P plus beta R E times times I S. So if we divide I S here, we get stage current K. I L over I S. Current gain stage I L over I S is beta times a current divided term R C over R C plus R L and other current divided term R P plus beta R D. This is beta value of beta is very large and this produces some fractions. RC over RC or plus RL produces a value that is less than 1. Similarly, this produces a value that is less than 1. So, beta multiplied with a value that is less than 1 slightly reduces it from beta. But still, it's a very high value. This means the stage current gain of common emitter amplifier is also high. So, we come to the conclusion that a common emitter, con in common emitter configuration, a BJT amplifier amplifies both voltage and current. Thank you.